This video is sponsored by LPS Amino. They've kindly sponsored me once again, so thank you. If you guys have never used LPS Amino before, it's the best place to share your photos, videos, and make friends that like LPS just like you. They've added a ton of new features, the first one being voice chat. You can go into chat rooms and get to know other LPS fans from all over the world. So you can see who's online and join in in some chats and get to know some new friends. There is also an option for the brand new avatar chat, which is very similar to kind of FaceTime, but you can make your own avatar to make it look like anything you want, which is perfect for the LPS community since a ton of us decide not to show our faces. You can also check out who is currently online at the bottom tab right here. You click it and you can see who's online, what they're doing, and chat with some new people. But since I'm online, I'm gonna go ahead and post a new photo. I took a ton of photos in the snow the other day. Here is my chat room. You can come and find it by searching Alice LPS. You can come and chat with me there and other fans and maybe if you're lucky, catch me in a voice chat. I also have an account that you can follow, it's called Alice LPS. I'll also have it linked in the description box of where you can download LPS Amino and you can go check it out. Well, let's get on with the video! Alice LPS Hey everyone, and today I'm going to be sharing with you how I made this custom. But before I show you the custom, I just want to let you know, have a little disclaimer out there, that you shouldn't really use other people's custom ideas. You could use them as inspiration, but you shouldn't solely copy people's customs. And I understand that a lot of you guys are young, but I could totally make a whole video on why you shouldn't copy people's customs, because people put a lot of work into it, and a lot of thought, and things like that. So before I show you the custom, I'm going to share with you some of the sketches and rough ideas I had before I made him. Okay, here is my little custom sketchbook. I draw all my custom designs in the sketchbook. I went for a grey body with light brown details and dark ears. And also a dark nose <laughs> to match. I always wanted to do a collie with little round eyebrows and I thought this design worked really cute and I liked the idea of having bright green eyes. Here was my initial idea and I didn't really like it so that was my redeveloped thing. Yep. So without further ado, here is my custom! And yep, before you ask, he is made from a fake LPS. I don't make any customs on real LPS unless they are completely damaged to no repair. This is one of the pets that was from my fake LPS video I made about a month ago, and I think he turned out really well. He looks so cute. I'm not sure what I want to name him yet, so if you have any name ideas, let me know in the comments down below, and I, I might use him in a future series or video or something like that. I think he's very, very cute. So yeah, let me show you how I made him from the very beginning. So as you can see, I've already prepared the pet for customizing. He is on a white base and I'm covering him in a gray color. There's only one currently released gray collie and I think he's really cute so I wanted to make another one. When this gray paint dried, I had mixed it too dark and I didn't like it so I decided to go over it again with a lighter gray color. So I was just mixing a little bit of black with some white to make a nice little light gray color. And I'm applying all over the pet and I really I prefer this colour a lot more. You can really see the, the difference between the two greys. It's much more pretty, I think. And here he is completely dry. Look at how cute he is. I love him. Right, so now I'm taking a teeny tiny brush. A colour called Burnt Sienna, which is kind of a more of a brown than a red, but on the tube it looks very red. And adding a little bit of white to it to make a light brown colour for the eyebrows. And marking on two little dots. He looks so cute. Oh my gosh. I didn't film much of the eyebrow process because I really wanted to focus on making them look perfect. Little round blobs, you know. I then took the rest of the brown colour and coloured in the fluff around his neck because I think he needed a little bit more brown on him. I really like this brown colour I mix actually. It's a pretty, pretty mix of red and brown and white. I just think it works really well. The only issue I did have is when it dried, I had to remix the colour and it didn't turn out as perfect, but I did I did make it work, so yeah. I also feel like I need to purchase an even tinier brush just to get those little kind of fluffy peaks real sharp, but maybe I'll invest in that next time. Now I'm taking a dark brown colour and painting the ears. I love how all the brown tones in this custom go really well together with the grey base. Thank you, this turns out really cute, you know? When doing my customs, I like to use acrylic paint because it dries super fast, and as you can see, like, some of the lighting in my videos changes because I like to leave it to dry for a long time. So this video took, like, three days to make, I think? It's custom took, like, yeah, three days, I think. But to make a custom, you need patience, so... The best tip out of my book is patience. <laughs> 
After finishing all the dark colours, I'm going in with some white on the eyes just to get rid of some of that grey colour. <laughs> I don't even know how it got there, I was really careful. And after I did that, I decided he didn't have enough white on him, so I went in and painted the front two paws with white around the fluff on the paws. I think this worked really well to brighten up the custom and just kind of piece it all together because there is two areas with light brown, two areas with dark brown, and now there's two areas with white. I think it worked really well to balance everything together. And after I painted the front paws, I feel like I had to do it to the back paws, so I did it there as well. <laughs> it took a few coats of this colour actually, so be patient. Um, don't like load all the colour on at once until it's opaque. It, it'll go all clumpy and bumpy and it won't dry properly, it, looks, it won't look good, so be patient, do your layers as layers. Thin layers work best on LPS because then you can't see the little brush strokes, so just be patient, you know? I decided to paint his eyes green, so firstly I'm going in with this dark green colour. I think it's really, really pretty, it's very bright but also dark at the same time. I haven't done a custom with green eyes yet, and green eyes is one of my favourite eye colours, and it's actually my eye colour, so take your time with eyes. They're a bit difficult to get right. I think this is maybe my 10th-ish custom, and I'm still not 100% on eyes. Maybe I need to get an even smaller brush or something like that, I'm not too sure. But making LPS eyes does take a lot of practice and yeah, maybe before even starting customs you could practice painting eyes on like paper or something else that is a plastic base. Um, I feel like eyes can make or break a custom, like you could make a really nice design custom but the eyes could be like, ooh, that doesn't quite look like an LPS, does it? And don't forget to add that white highlight. And now we are complete. I have glazed him and I even used clear nail polish on the eyes to give it an extra shine. That's like a little thing I like to do on my customs so you can use that idea if you want. I love how his eyes turned out and the little eyebrows. He's just very, very pure. I love him so much. Let me know in the comments below if you would love to see more custom videos. I've made a few customs now and I'd love to share them with you in the future. And if there's any specific customs you want me to make, let me know as well if there's any series like Pokemon or things like that you want me to make customs for of LPS. And that's about it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys!